So now I've moved on to cleaning the bathroom. Well, the bathtub anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, because when I was cleaning out or just washing out the other sponge that I was using on the on the uh, oven, I thought I should probably clean this tub out before I used it again because as you saw that sponge was nasty. It was just all black. And I uh, I threw it out after I was uh, finished cleaning the oven. So brand new sponge. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably be good to clean out the tub. Especially after I was wrenching out that sponge. So, yeah. But, yeah, well, so, anyway, I've been missing out on a lot of production assistant work. Is uh, I've um, I'm on a bunch of websites and I got got my uh, information posted and uh, you know like producers go to uh, these websites when they are looking for uh, help and a lot of times. I'll, I'll just get a call or email or text from a producer saying that they are looking for a production assistant and uh, they're, they are having a, a shoot near where I live. They are, are in need of a production assistant so they'll contact me and yeah, you know, if I'm available then I can do it. So. Yeah, it's, it's nice when that happens. People actually contact me uh, for a job. But that uh, doesn't happen very often. I've also got notifications set up. So if, if there's a job posting for uh, work near where I am, then I'll get an email about it and I can apply to the job. And yeah, I mean, recently I applied to, well, four jobs total I applied to uh, in the past couple months. And I only got one of them. I, d I don't get every job that I apply for, e every uh, production assistant work, I should say, but it's a little surprising that I only, I only got 25% of the job that I applied to recently, but I'm choosing to, uh, you know, not be mad about it and said be glad that uh there's more competition for me i guess uh yeah because i'm sure th those other positions got feel that uh the ones that i didn't get i'm sure they found someone else so yeah i'm, I'm happy uh, for the person who got the job and also that there are more people uh, who are in Idaho where I live uh, that are in the film business or getting into the film business. So that, that means that uh, the film community around here is growing if there's a lot of other people applying.
applying for the same work that I've applied for. Yeah, I'm choosing to look on the bright side, I guess. Always look on the bright side of life. Yeah, I hear that's better for your mental health. Yeah, you look for the good stuff and and try to be grateful and that can lead to better health and can help you be happy. So I'm choosing to be happy, god damn it. <laughs> yeah. But still a little bummed that I didn't get those jobs. Cause production system work does pay well. Pays better than a, a uh uh all of the full time jobs I've had. Well except for uh the job at the fire center. Yeah, it would have been great to get all of those jobs and then I would have had a lot more extra money coming in. I would have got a lot more money than working uh, more days at my current job. Which I'm taking a step back from this job. Uh, it's not something that I want to do as a career. Uh, like getting into the, getting a career in, in the film slash TV slash streaming industry. That, that's what I want to do, which yeah. Having a career in, let's say, Hollywood, uh, your career is made up of a bunch of sh short term jobs. You'll get a job on a commercial, uh, which those are usually shot in like one day, or a music video. Those can be shot in one day, or two or three days, something like that. Yeah, and on a movie, that uh, will be longer, but it will eventually have to end. And then on a TV show, if it's really successful, you can have a job working on uh, that show, which can last like, I don't know, let's we'll, we'll just say five to ten years or as a su successful show. And then, you know, that show ends, then you gotta go find more work. Unless you're like uh, The Simpsons or Grey's Anatomy, a show like that, which will never seem to end. Yeah, I'll only a show like the news or syndicated game show. Uh, only a job like that will last forever. Uh, and you, you can have, only have one job for your whole career. But yeah, but that's, that's unlikely to happen for, <laughs> Uh, almost anyone, so, yeah, I don't expect it to happen. I am trying to get uh, work at one of my local TV stations, and I, I can pro probably move up the ladder. I don't want to stay a production assistant forever. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're PAs, as they're called, they're at the bottom of the Pull, pull, or corporate ladder. They're way down there. They're, I don't know. They're like one step above intern. <laughs> yeah, something like that. So, so yeah, I want to move up from 
productions of sins. I don't want to say productions of sins for my whole career, just going from PA work on one show to PA work on another another shoot. I want to move up. I've done quite a few PA work or PA jobs. Now I want to move up and I don't know how. Not exactly. I'm thinking that I, I just like have to do something different on my own. Because I'm, I'm kind of seeing that in the Hollywood, uh, you just kind of got to do something on your own just to show that you can do it and then hopefully uh, someone uh, will see what you did and offer you more work and then the new work will lead to more work and more work and that work will lead more to more work and so forth and so on. That's what a career in Hollywood looks like. One job will help you get to another job and then that job gives you another job and so on and so on. Yeah, that's what I need to do. And, you know, even though there's no time limit on it, it kind of is. It's, no one lives forever. And now that I'm over 30 years old, I'm just thinking that it needs to happen sooner. Much sooner. I, I don't expect to just go straight to the top. No, no. You know, I'll, I'll start at the bottom. I pretty much already am at the bottom. And I'll work my way up. No problem. I just gotta figure out where do I get the job that will lead me to the next job and lead me to the next job. That's what I gotta learn. And yeah, just figure out how to do it. And I think that just starts with me doing something on my own. But yeah, yeah, I'll figure that out. And yeah, I think this tub is clean enough. It's not gonna get as shiny as uh, that, that oven did. But it looks a little better and probably a lot cleaner now. It doesn't have any of that oven gunk on it. So yeah. Yeah. Just yeah, I, I say it's clean.